What I want to do today is connect our Google Docs and Google Slides app so that whenever a new document is created in our Google Docs, a new presentation will automatically be created in Google Slides. Zapier is a no-code tool that makes it easier for anyone to automate workflows across 5,000 plus apps. If you don't have an account, there's a link in the description for a free two-week trial, so you can try it risk-free. Let's dive in. In order to get started with this workflow, I need to create a Zap by clicking the button on the left-hand side of the screen. Because I want Google Docs to trigger my Google Slides app, I'll need to use Google Docs as my trigger. I can find the app by typing it into the search bar and clicking below. Setting this as the trigger means that anytime Google Docs sees a new document has been created, it's going to run this workflow. The trigger screen will then pop up. I should click New Document as my event and click Continue. The first time we set up Google Docs, we'll need to authenticate it with Zapier. A link will pop up for you to log into your Google account. Don't worry, it's totally safe because Zapier uses industry standards for encryption when connecting with each of your apps. I'll put a link to Zapier's security and trust page in the description as well. In order to finish setting up the trigger, we'll need to pull in some example data. To do that, click Test Trigger. You're all set with the first step. Let's move on to our action step. Type in Google Slides into the search bar and select it on the drop down menu. Next, Click Create Presentation from Template and click Continue. From there, I can select our account and authenticate Google Slides with Zapier, just like I did with Google Docs. By the way, if at any point you get stuck, Zapier's got an amazing support team that can help you out. There's a link in the description to their forum post for this specific workflow. Before we set up the rest of our action, we'll need to make sure that our presentation is properly formatted. In order to create variables for our action step, we'll need to create text and have them listed inside two brackets on each side. These variables will be shown in our action step and will change to match the parameters of our action. Once that is complete, let's go back into our Zap and we can start to assign our trigger apps data into the action apps field. First, pick the title of your presentation. I'm going to click title. Next, under template presentation, Choose the template you had just created in the last step. Mine was called Zapier Document Page. Your variables will now appear. You'll want to fill them out accordingly. Under Name of Google Doc, I'm going to click Title. Under Name of Creator, I'll click Owner's Display Name, and under Doc Link, I'll click Direct Link. Then I'll click Continue. Click Test Action, and I should be all set. Yep. There it is. This is ready to turn on. Now, anytime a document is created in Google Docs, a new presentation template will be created in our selected Google Slides. I hope this was a helpful demo. Zapier can do so much more with these two apps and thousands of others. Check Zapier out. There's a free trial. Click the link in the description.